really excited to play. I've never played this before. Wow, I look a mess. That's okay. So beautiful. Thank you. For you that just joined, I'm going live with Callum Scott. Um. Yeah. Hi, Gabby. I miss you. Um. Okay. from Canada. Hello. <clears throat> How are you? I'm good. Congrats on Emily. Thank you. I'm so gorgeous. Thank you. The singer? Yes. Um, so now I think we're just waiting for him. But um, Also, the link down below is for the um the pride playlist so it's actually really good i've listened to it like everywhere <laughs> just me hear so long i don't know it's really frizzy frizzy because it's hot outside for us i don't sing but i think we're just waiting on callum to get here ever been in new jersey i have not okay mm congrats on a mill thank you do the comments go slower yeah they go a lot slower hi taylor Where's Callum? He's probably coming. That's a meal, thank you. Um, I'm not from England. Would I ever come to Delaware? Where is Delaware? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. From Mars, let's see. Let's see if he's here. Yeah. Mm. I don't see him in here. Callum, if you're in this, can you um comment, please? Um, I'm like 5'11". Thank you. Oh, where did I get my gold chain? Somewhere, these are all, well, the black and gold one are somewhere from the mall. And then this one, one of my friends gave me. He should be here soon. <laughs> He's here. Hi, Callum. Can you comment so I can add you? You know this person right now. Ah! <laughs> Finally, I'm like, yes, I know. Sat, I'm like, sat in the message, like, I'm here, like, <laughs> waving and stuff. Good. How, how are, are you? you? I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. I've just yeah. been, um, I've just been chilling in my hot tub. Oh, that's always nice. That sounds yeah. so nice. I've just been like, literally, I had it installed a couple of weeks ago, and I've not moved from it. Oh, that would literally be me. <laughs> but it's like I knew. I knew I was going to get one as well. So, like, on the lead up, I was having more baths. Mm -hmm. So, I was just like sat there, I put some suds in and kicked my feet a bit. And I'm like, this is almost like a jacuzzi. And now I have Literally. one. Wow, now I need to get one. I need to get one. 
might do you that. won't regret it. You'll have no social life. I mean, especially after quarantine ends, you'll have no social life if you have a hot tub. But um, you don't want to share that. No, no, it'd just be for me. <laughs> How are you doing anyway? How are you? I'm really good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I've had ups and downs, but I'm sure that we'll get into that um, yeah. in in, uh, in this game. Um, it's quite funny that this game is called We're Not Really Strangers when we are totally strangers. And this is the first time we've ever met. Thinking about that, I was like, um, you know, we are strangers, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the definition of. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've never played this game before, so this should, this should be pretty fun. Yeah, I haven't played it either, but I think I wrote down all the questions, so... Oh, okay. You're prepared. I'm like trying to like multitask on my MacBook, but it is not. Ha you know, it's asking you to restore and it's asking you to oh, yeah. it and it's popping up all over the place. So I'm just going to slam it down. You're good. <sighs> all right. So I think it, so do we ask each other the same question or do we like? I guess so. Okay. I guess so. I mean, you're prepared, right? So you could just ask me anything and then I'll just flip it on you. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. So the first question is, what do you think I've been binge watching? Okay, well, having known you for such a long time, um, <laughs> I would probably say, I mean, I. Yeah, it's hard because obviously there's different shows on different, like in different countries, but right. uh, well, I was just in LA actually in March to um, finish up the album. And whilst I was over in, whilst I was Netflixing over there, um, everybody was on that Love is Blind hype. Oh, I yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen that. Like, I watched one episode and I was like, hmm, this one girl is saying that she loves this guy on the first day. Like, this yeah. is, I don't know if I can, like, commit to watching a whole series, but, yeah. um, so maybe that, maybe Tiger King. I did watch Tiger King. Yeah, you see, I'm just so, I'm so, like, flippant. Like, if, I, if I'm if i not engaged within episode one, I'm like... Right, I'm like, not Like, it. Game of Thrones, for example. Oh, yeah. yeah. First episode, a, a boy is pushed from a tower and ends up disabled. A, 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 a brother and sister have relations, mm -hmm. and a guy has his head chopped off, and I'm like, <laughs> I'll, I'll see this through. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> But it's um. But yeah, I I I have no idea. I'm gonna take a stab and say Love Is Blind. I only watched the first episode and then I was You're like, like me. Uh -huh. but we're not really we're not really that different, you and I. Yeah. All these yeah. years I've known you, I would have never Tiger guessed. King. I watched Tiger King all the way through though, so. And you and you would recommend it? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I think I'm gonna have to get on it. Um, just recently, I've seen Carol Baskin on Instagram, like, uh -huh. causing trouble. So maybe I'm going to have to go back and find out why she's yeah. not liked very much. It's really, it's really interesting. Yeah. But... Okay, so then I have to guess what you're binge watching. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I got to give you a couple of hints there as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, like you said, like, we have different shows, but, hmm. Um, I don't know. Uh, We're not strangers, so like you should know this. Oh, exactly. <laughs> this is hard. I'm trying to. It's really it. hard. It's harder than I thought, actually. But you said you did watch some Netflix in LA. I did watch some Netflix in LA. Mm -hmm. Weird thing with me is I'll end up I'll end up choosing something that. Like, I ended up watching a whole series. I'll try to help you out a little bit. So I ended up watching a whole series of this thing called Altered Carbon, right? Mm -hmm. And it's about these, like, you have, like, this thing called a stack in the back of your head. Yeah. And when you die, they take this stack and they put you in a different body so you can still exist. Oh. But, like, I'm watching the whole series and I'm, like, saying to my friends, has anybody watched Altered Carbon? They're like, the hell is that? And I'm like, well, it's trending in LA. Like, it would oh. be a good show. But apparently not. I liked it. But, um, yeah, so st I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for, um, I'm a sucker for liking gory stuff. I mean, for example, like, there's a show back in the UK, I don't know if you have it, or that called Gangs of London. Um, and in the opening scene, a guy has been tied to a skyscraper by his foot. And... Um, He's set on fire and he drops to the floor. Oh. And I showed my mom and she was like, 
oh my god and i was like do you like it and she was like yes <laughs> wow she's crazy i get that from her yeah okay so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say what is that show ultra carbon altered carbon oh my god how did you guess that oh i don't know just a wild guess you know just it's that it's that friendship we have you know yeah Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, I, I have the sheet now, actually. Okay. For All some right. reason, it's loaded up. So I think the next one is the snack one, right? Yeah. So what do you think has been my go-to snack during this time? Hmm. Uh... I'm not really sure of all like the how different like our foods are. Oh, very different. Oh, very different. Um. <laughs> oh, this is hard. Right, I know, I know. I'm gonna say. Do you guys have like pretzels and cheese? I don't know why. I don't like, know. Like I get no, like that's it's a good suggestion. I mean, it's totally wrong, but I mean, it's a good suggestion. <laughs> no, like no, I if just I'm, got those vibes. <laughs> if I'm honest, though, I've been like I've been super bored, and I've been trying to like really get on my fitness, and I've been like mm -hmm. running tons, and I have like um I have weights in my back garden, so I've been like lifting a ton of weights. So I've been having like protein bars and fruit. Oh, and well, that's always good. Very boring. Um, okay. the, first, the first week of, of quarantine when we had like a hard lockdown um, I literally sat in my underwear playing Call of Duty drinking wine and eating basically pretzels and cheese on <laughs> um, and then I really had to like book up my ideas because I was just feeling so crappy oh yeah that was me so yeah so I had to I had to like switch to the fruit um, mm -hmm. but like what what would you have like you guys have such like crazy stuff that we don't get here. Like what my my uh, keyboard player when we were in LA, he used to go to the um, the gas stations, and you know you've got the little stalls where you can grab some things for the rod. Like he used to get skittles that were covered in sugar, and I'm like, so it's so it's skittles that are full of sugar, and covered in sugar. sugar. Yeah, and I'm like. And like he used to get like he I mean he he was an adult but he used to turn full blown like toddler like when he'd had those like it's bad so yeah, I, I mean did. like but like you're in great shape so you must have been eating something healthy too I mean I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that you were eating um, apples with a toffee dip. Um, I've been eating a lot of um, <laughs> chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh wow! Well, like, what, like the share box chicken nuggets, or they're like dino chicken nuggets. Like they're frozen, and then you put them in the oven, and they then you eat them. Oh my god! I've been eating fruit when I could have been sat eating. <laughs> I mean, nuggets. like I'll still eat fruit, but like chicken nuggets are. I eat those a lot. So nugs of nugs. Nugs are the best. Nugs yeah, are the best. For sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> All right. So then the next one is what time do you think I've been waking up? Well, I mean, if you're anything like me, it's going to be late. Um, I'm going to say that you are, you're entitled to a little sleep in, and I feel like you'll be getting up and out of bed around 10 a.m. Yeah, that's actually good. Yeah, I usually go wake up, drink some coffee, and then go work out, and then you know whatever for the rest whatever of the, the day. Whatever the day throws at you. Yep, and you know sometimes I I'll still like sleep until like one, but most of the time I try and get <sighs> that. Like I try to sleep in until one, but my teenage days have like so <laughs> badly disappeared. Like I'm thirty one, like. I'm yeah. old. I'm old. No. I see a gray hair. Like, I'm not old. I find the gray hair and I'm like ripping out sections of my hair just to make sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then I think you've been waking up at 
either nine or ten. Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine, nine. Nine. It's kind of like a little treat, but it's not like I'm not staying until 4 p.m., you know? Yeah. It's like. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask you do you think I'm mainly cooking or post mating? Definitely post mating. Well, I mean, I would love to have a post mating service, but we have like. Oh. We have the. Yeah, we have like Deliveroo or like Uber Eats. Uh -huh. But Postmate, like, as, as I understand it, Postmates means that you could go, okay, I want to grab some paracetamol, like, some painkillers from this from the Walgreens or whatever. I want to grab, like, a coffee from Starbucks, and I want to grab, like, a Burger King, like, yes. double whopper meal XL. Yeah, you can grab anything. Do you see that is, like, I, did, I have no idea why we don't have that service here. I don't know either, but I think you guys should invest in it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I might just become the Postmates service. Do it. Just post Cal and like, just I'll I'll carry on my running. I'll just run with a with a bag on my back and then. Exactly, that'll work out. <laughs> okay. uh, so. So for you, I think you're definitely Postmating. If you're yeah. having like Dino Nuggets, you're definitely Postmating. Yeah. yeah, I am. There's no shame. No shame. Nope. The only thing I'll cook is like maybe a maybe some mac and cheese. But other than that, I'm close. Oh, to mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. oh. So, so good. good. I I have a recipe coming in from my from one of my friends in based in LA, which is like a chicken bake thing where she has like she just puts a lot of shredded chicken, um, a ton of like this. Um, like chili sauce thing and then loads of cheese and oh, bakes it in the oven. So good. Uh, it's like we went to a barbecue and that's all I ate. Like oh, that must have been, like, so must have been like 6,000 calories and I'm just like. Doesn't matter. As long as it's good. As long as it's good. And I did enough sit-ups the next day. I mean, I must have done <laughs> Crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. So, what are you most excited for today, big or small? Big or small. Um, I, so, I'm going to go and have a social distance, um, uh, like, steak night at, my bre at one of my best friend's house. Mm -hmm. So, I'm really excited for that because it's been, I had to take it, I mean, everybody had to take it very seriously, but with me, like, I, you know, I wanted to make sure that I was setting a great example. And so I was right. sticking to all of the guidelines pretty stringently, really. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't go out. I didn't really see anybody. And then when our, our government started to relax the rules a little bit, um, I saw people, but it was very much like, you know, out and about in the, like a park or whatever, yeah. always two meters. Um, and then as soon as they said that you can like sort of have a social bubble, like I just went straight over to my best friend's house and like now like I, he's he's gonna cook a steak and we're gonna have like a glass of red wine like I'm so excited for it that sounds so fun how about you what are you excited? um I'm also gonna go hang out with one of my friends you know still following the guidelines and everything <laughs> you guys are, have it less of, I haven't seen her in like a month so you know that'll be fun yeah you guys, you got, it's pretty serious over there, right? Yeah, it kind of depends on like what state you live in, but my state's kind of relaxed a little bit because we don't have as many cases, so. Where, where are you right now? Um, I'm in Kentucky. Okay, sick. Yeah. I've been to Kentucky. Mm -hmm. It's great, I love it. Yeah, it gets a little boring after a while, but it's a good state. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask you, what would feel best to fully accept in this current moment? Oh. I know, it's a very philosophical, like a very deep kind of question, eh? Yeah, well, okay, so I'm gonna be a senior in high school. Okay. But, so I guess, you know, I have to accept that, like I probably won't get a senior year, you know? Uh, corona. I mean, I don't really care, but <laughs> yeah, you're just like, oh, bye. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably what I had to accept is that I won't get a senior year. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's okay, though. 
It's all I'm awesome. ready to go to college. Spread your wings. Yep. So yeah. ready. I bet. Would you go to a different state to, to um, go to college or you'd stay in Kentucky? Um, I'm probably going to go down to Florida for college. Nice. Yeah. I want to go somewhere where there's a beach. Yeah. I'd like to I'd like to say I live by a beach. And when I say beach, I mean very loosely it's by a river. And when I say river, I mean it's not like it's brown. You can't like water is brown. And yeah, it's pretty like it's pretty miserable looking. But it's still beautiful mm -hmm. by by my standards. <laughs> so I uh and I totally know what it would feel like to go by a beach. We uh, we stayed, me and my manager stayed in, in Manhattan Beach in uh, LA. Yeah, the first time I went over, or one of the few times I went over it, it was, uh, it's pretty it's pretty incredible waking up and just strolling down to the beach in the morning. Yeah, it's so yeah. nice. I love yeah. the beach. Yeah, yeah. If you walked barefoot on my beach, I don't think you'd have any, like, toes left. It's, uh, it's pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Answer the question. What would I have to accept? I mean, I think, like, I think for me, just accepting that everybody's going through the same sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Because, um, like, there's a, I know there's a card later on that is asking for you to go deep on a subject but like yeah. you know i've just been going through some stuff and for me like uh i'm quite an anxious person um and so being on my own was not great for me not great for my headspace and so like i i think i felt like the world's pressure was on me but you know everybody was go everybody's going through the same sort of thing in fact some people are going through a lot worse yeah. um so yeah it, it for me just to accept that everybody feels Everybody's going through the same thing would probably probably help a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely had to realize that too. Yeah. Um, okay. So so it says there's a wild card. So do we have to do that? Well, it says share your screen time, but I don't know how I'm going to do that on the phone. I don't know either. We can just skip oh. that one. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's just skip it. But I did find that um, I... <laughs> Quite embarrassingly, um, my my screen time for Tinder was two and a half hours. Oh, on Tinder! <laughs> like, I realised that I was on it quite a bit, but I <laughs> only because I'm like isolating. Like, I'm trying to get the experience of going to a bar, so I'm sat with my beer and I'm like swiping Swipe on Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> That's okay. But two and a half hours is pretty. <laughs> I mean, I probably shouldn't have uh, revealed that, but I'm an honest person. You know this from our long friendship. I'm a honest person, you know. Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. What's the most fun you've had during this time? Um, I don't know. I guess just getting to try, like, new things, like new hobbies. Okay. You know? Because before, like, I didn't have the time to try and learn anything. Okay. So, yeah, probably that. So chess? So chess? Oh, didn't learn chess. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. No. What what what's what's like the most impressive thing you've learned? Like Oh. Hmm. I know, I'm the same. Somebody asked me that like, hmm. I don't know. I mean I learned like how to paint because like I can't draw, I can't do any of that. Tell me you did that behind you. You did the artwork behind. Tell me you did that. Oh, no, no, oh. <laughs> no. I was going to say, like, like, you need to be studying at art in college if that's, if that's no. the stuff that you're <laughs> using. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I did that. And then I also, um, I used to play piano when I was, like, younger. And, like, I forgot how to play. So I, like, taught myself how to play again. Nice. Yeah. So those are probably the two big things that I... Nice. Yeah. What about you? 
Uh, it's funny because I have like a little piano where you probably see it just like peeking out the corner. Oh yeah, there. I do. Yep. Not played a key. Not played a key. Um, I can't play it at all, and I would have loved to, and we can't play a key. Uh, to be honest, I, I I don't know if you guys have been doing it over there, but we've been having a lot of Zoom quizzes. Like people have been doing a lot of like trivia things yeah. on Zoom. Yeah. And so obviously like all of my best friends joined, especially for the first couple of weeks. Um, so like me sat with my friends, like playing Zoom quizzes was just like, mm -hmm. it was just exactly like we would be in the pub or in like a bar. So it was, it was really funny. Really yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what we did too. We all just got on Zoom and either like all watched a movie together or just, you know, talked, whatever. And is it, is it like, is it slowly like petered out now? Yeah. It yeah, kind of, same. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Not a, like my group chat was just like the other day, like we're gonna do another quiz. I'm like, uh, like I'm watching, uh, I'm watching TV now. Like, <laughs> exactly. It got a little, got a little boring, but that's exactly, cool. exactly. So, what's the most valuable lesson this time has taught you so far? Ooh, probably what you said earlier about how like, like everybody's kind of struggling, mm -hmm. it, not just me, you know? Yeah. And I would have said I would have said exactly the same. I think is I think one thing that you I sort of find out with time like this, when especially when you've got time to think, is that like people and the connections you have with people are really like the most important thing. Like mm -hmm. you know, you like money helps like making you happy, or like doing your own thing can make you happy, or like whatever. But really, like people make you happy i think that's yeah. that's a valuable lesson i've taken away from this is just like sure. I, I don't want to take anybody else for granted you know yeah exactly deep very deep very all right okay so on the, on the level of being deep what's been the hardest part of all this for you permission to vent <laughs> they're just asking for trouble when they ask a question like i that. know i guess it's probably because i'm like a very i'm a very social person like i like you know, going to my friends' houses and all that. So I guess when I wasn't able to, like, physically be there with my friends, I guess that was really hard. Yeah. So. I'm, I, I, I was exactly the same as you. Yeah. Just not actually, ha like, I'm such a physical person. Mm -hmm. And, like, I love hugging my friends and, I'm, like, you know, kissing my family. And, like, I'm very physical. Um, yeah, it's too. in my nature, you know. And so I like to not do that. Like, when I saw my mum for the first time, when we were allowed to have, like, you know see people outside i'm like walking two meters towards and then just standing dead like stops dead straight like it's yep. tough it's tough it um yeah really tough yep all right so then the next one <laughs> there's a there's a wild card again i saw the wild card it says staring contest loser reveals what their kitchen looks like right now <laughs> <laughs> what? I think my kitchen I think my kitchen is not bad so I'm not worried necessarily if I lose yeah so I would like how is this supposed to work <laughs> okay okay I prepared something okay? okay so if you like I want your serious face I'm gonna play something and it's the first to smile okay okay hold on okay. Yeah. I think I think it should work I hope it does you ready no <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lost before it even started. <laughs> <laughs> right, I played that before, like, as a preparation before, like, <laughs> before. Okay, so you don't have to show me your kitchen. I'm so I'm 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 bet it's beautifully clean. Yeah. Um. Well, but what I will ask you is, what movie do you wish you'd never seen so you can watch it for the first time during quarantine? Ooh. Um. I don't. Mm. Okay, like, so I'll help you out. I'll I'll tell you mine. So, for me, I would have said um, A Star Is Born, 
Oh, I love that movie. I think if I'd have seen that during quarantine, especially like when I was feeling a bit down and negative about like yeah. music and I wasn't getting in my studio and I wasn't see it, making music or whatever, I think that would that would have really inspired me. It still does. Yeah. But I also feel like I would have been crying all night. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if, I don't want to ruin it for anybody who's not seen it, but it's, it was, I mean, it's, it's really good. The last like scene, few scenes, especially the last song she sings, I was like, Oh, yeah. like, I was literally, really me and my crying. mom sitting there crying our eyes out when we watched it together. It was so bad. Like, I remember I went with one of my male friends, and then there was a couple next to us, and it was a guy and a girl. Mm -hmm. And it was so funny because, like, at the end, like, the house lights came on, and my friend and her boyfriend both stood up and was like, are you ready to go? And me and this girl was just like, still Rocking. just like, sobbing. <laughs> like, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Literally. Okay, well, so mine would probably be this uh, this movie called Lady Bird. Um, I think I've heard of that. You, yeah, it has like Timothy Chalamet in it. Okay. Um, I can't really, it's basically like a good, like, coming of age story. Like, she's about to move away to college. So, okay. Yeah. Nice. Really good. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Um, um. What's been the kindest thing someone has done for you during this time? Oh, God. Um, I mean, I've got to be honest, like, my fans, I have a great relationship with anyway, but, mm -hmm. and my fans have been really, like, there for me during this time and obviously it's been a while since i've released music but that's because you know i was just about to wrap up the writing for album two and then quarantine so it's like yeah. they they've been so patient and they've still been so supportive and anything that i've put out they've shared and they've been really reactive with still and and, and it's very easy to lose interest especially in a in a in a industry where people are putting tons of music out and tons of content out it's very easy to just go oh that person hasn't really done anything so like yeah you know. but my fans have been so good so so patient so good um yeah so I've, I've got to say that what about you what's been the kindest thing someone's done for you um probably one of my friends that like i hadn't really talked to in a while she would like text me like every day and just you know be encouraging so it's those little moments though that can get you through you know yeah yeah that was really Massive. nice massively okay well when quarantine is behind us what change do you want to make in your day-to-day -day life if any <laughs> i like that if any so don't don't stop eating nugs carry on with that but what else would you always uh... eat nuggets um, <laughs> um i guess probably Mm. I know, I know. I don't really know. I guess maybe like. <laughs> it's such it. a hard game. You know what? If we were playing this, if like, if you was like, if if this was like an in-person thing, and there was like, do you want to come around and play a game? This would be back in the box and like never be played again, wouldn't it? Yep. It's yep. one of those. It's too hard. It's too hard. Yeah, it is hard. I don't really know. Um, I think for me, I, I probably would, like, I would probably just want to, like, take up people's offers a bit more often, like, mm -hmm. because, you know, when you're, like, you've got your friends and family and they'll want to do stuff with you. Yeah. And sometimes you just go, ah, oh, like, I've got, oh. like, a thing, and your yeah. thing is, like, you just want to sit at home in bed, just scrolling through your phone. Like, yeah. that's the kind of stuff that I think I would just, like, try and, try and do less of, like, just go out more hang out more. If somebody asks me to go and do something, just go, go and do it. Even if I don't feel like it, like, cause now that we can't, it's like, it's, it's tough, you know? Yeah. I'd, I'd probably say that to them. I like that. There you go. There you go. Okay. If you made a playlist for me, what three songs would be on it? <laughs> okay. I think I've got to give, I, okay. If it's a playlist, I'm I'm not gonna give you three songs that are exactly the same because that would be boring. So I'm gonna yeah. give you three different songs, okay? okay? So the first one is a classic. 
um, by a band called September, mm -hmm. and the song is called Earth, Wind, and Fire. I don't know if you've ever heard it. It's yeah. a, it's it was like released in like the seventeen. I think it was like the late seventies, but it's a it's like a tune. Like mm -hmm. if I can try and find it really quick, then I'll play you it. Okay, you. I'm sure you'll have heard this one. Can you okay. hear that? Yeah. Yeah. So that one I would give you. I think. I like I was I was writing a ton in Nashville uh, last year and I was supposed to be over there uh, in May, which was really sad because obviously I had I had to be home. But not like a, a country inspired song. I'm gonna go with um, what's his name, Darius Rucker, is it? Um, wagon wheel. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. yeah, you gotta have because yes. that's just so good. It's so yeah, good. That's, that's the kind of music we don't get here for some reason. Oh, and I love it! I love it. Um, and then um, there's this thing, there's this uh, song called "You Are the Reason" by this guy called Callum Scott. It's like a, <laughs> an incredible song. I love <laughs> that song. song. It's me. Yes. yes but um, yes. The, 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 I like. I have to. I have to give you that. No, song as well. I love. I love that song. Like that's probably oh, one okay. of my favorite songs. Hey, it's already in your playlist <laughs> then. Yeah. <laughs> But no, it's like it's, it's a sentimental song, you know, and especially like you are the reason, you know, is is a dedication song. I suppose like now, it's like mm -hmm. it's the perfect time to to dedicate it to somebody, you know. So yeah, for sure. How about you? What would you uh, What would you recommend for me? Um, I was actually gonna say Wagon Wheel for yours. I don't know, and then um, probably. Of course, your jam right now. Uh. I've been listening to a lot of Lana Del Rey. Ooh, nice choice. Yeah, I don't know why. Wow. I haven't heard Lana. I haven't heard Lana's stuff in ages, actually. I haven't. I haven't either. But then I, one of my friends played it for me, and then I just forgot how good she was. You fall in love with them again, right? Yeah. There's actually this. Bl this blends into the next question, which is, what do I need to watch as soon as I have the time? I have. I've, I've been. Um, following this band for a long time they're based over in america called third story uh -huh. these three three guys and the harmonies are beautiful like i've played their cover of uh, one last time mm -hmm. so much it's unreal so you should watch that and also have you seen <laughs> just to just to give you another thing to watch when you have five minutes um i'm gonna play it for you now because it's so funny i don't know if you've ever um seen this clip but it's a boy who's, I guess, who's asked, like, what's like the most, what's the best dream that you can that you can have, right? I don't. You should be able to hear it. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 can you do you you want you you could do so you you do you can you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything oh my god that's what? literally me when i'm trying to explain something that's literally me <laughs> oh my god it's like 20 seconds of like willing him to just tell me what you think but then 20 seconds of like he's just so like so adorable so oh, that's literally me when i try to explain something though <laughs> my nephew like, does it my nephew is like Callum, and I'm like, yeah, he's like, can I, can, can I, can I, can I, I'm like, like remix. Can you what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, um, so then, wait, so then what do you need to watch? Yeah, what would you recommend I watch? Um, hmm. Have you watched Euphoria? I don't think so. That's a really good TV show. It's on Netflix. Or, no, it's not. I don't know where it's on. But it's really, <laughs> really, really good. Euphoria. Euphoria. Okay. It has good vibes. I think everybody okay. should watch that. Okay, I'm going to watch Euphoria. All right, good. It better be as good as that kid trying to explain <laughs> his dream. I mean, nothing can really beat that, but it's <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I, that's why I chose it because it's just no one's going to beat that. Exactly. Um, okay. Uh, how can I best be there for you during this chapter? As, <laughs> as a as a really close friend of yours, I don't know how how else I could be there for you. I don't know. Uh, 
what's euphoria? I guess that's the that's the yeah. that's the best way I can go. be there for you. There you go. And and then I can slide into your DMs and just explain how I feel about the whole thing. Yes, perfect. That's how I can be there for you. Perfect. And you can be there for me by listening to that playlist. Of course, I got you. Everybody's you a gotta, winner. You gotta send me the songs and I'll listen to them. <laughs> Everybody's a winner. <laughs> exactly. All right. So I guess this is the final one. So it says mm -hmm. each player write a virtual message to your partner. Press send once you two have hung up. So okay. To so your partner is into you or to to, to like because I don't have a I don't. No, I think I do it to you. I'm single as they come right now, so like I'm not like. I'm yeah. not. I'm not sending it to anybody, but I'll send. I'll send you a private message for sure. I'll send you a little virtual message. All right, perfect. So okay. Well, I'm yeah. gonna write it. I'm gonna put it in my. I'm gonna put it in a DM to you. Okay. Um and. Yeah. Then we'll. I guess we'll continue this, very like, deep, um. You know, friendship that we've had over many years. Oh, for sure. And then we, we can't. We can't. We, well, we can play this game all the time now because we're not really strangers. Exactly. So, like, we're not strangers. We can, <laughs> every like Thanksgiving, we could crack out the box, start playing this game, and two minutes, just get bored and throw it away again. I'm so down. So down. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Um, I'm definitely going to like, like, like get in the DMs and like see, check in, see how you're doing, see how many nugs you've got to. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure. And next time I'm in Kentucky, like, hopefully if I can play a show there, like you should come and bring some friends and Yeah, out. yeah, for sure. That sounds nice. And then you can, if you ever want to like, have no feet left, then you could always take a walk on my beach with me. And then, you know. I mean, I might have to, <laughs> have to experience it. It's not, it's not on the top of the priority list, don't worry. Yeah, no, 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 but I'll, <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. But listen, uh, um, it was lovely to speak to you. Enjoy the rest of your day. I know it's a lot earlier there. It's like 5 p.m. right now. So yeah. I'm going to go and have my steak and my glass of wine. And um, I, like I've been reading some of the comments from your fans. They all love you so much. So um, it's been a pleasure yeah. to speak to you. Thank you. It's been so nice to meet you. You're welcome, babe. Bye. Bye.